All right, so I'm starting class now. So today's uh, it's we're just doing one thing today. It's uh, how to balance uh, oxidation reduction reactions. So it's the whole day. We're gonna spend the whole day doing this. Well, at least the whole hour and fifteen minutes that we're here. So uh, does anybody have any questions or anything before we start? Okay, do you remember how to assign oxidation states? Do you remember these rules? So here are the rules. And these rules are hi hierarchical, which means uh, that rule one is more important than rule two is more important than rule three. So any free elements, the oxidation, oxidation state of a free element is zero. Oxidation in a monatomic ion, so mono, like a monogamous relationship, you're with one person. A monatomic ion, one ion is equal to its charge. So like calcium plus two, oxidation state is plus two, chloride minus one, chlorine's oxidation state is minus one. The sum of the oxidation states for all the atoms in a molecule is zero, a molecule or a formula unit is zero. An ion equal to the charge of the ion. So, so water H2O here, two times the oxidation state for hydrogen plus one times the oxidation state for oxygen is equal to zero. And for nitrate, minus one is a charge of the total ion. So uh, minus one equals nitrogen's oxidation state plus three times oxygen's oxidation state. And then we have these two rules. For alkali metals and compounds, always have plus one. If it's, if it's sodium metal, like the free element, it's zero. But if it's sodium in a compound, it's plus one. Alkyl and earths, plus two. And then this following chart. And I can give you, I can give you these on the final. I'll make sure you have them. You have to memorize them. So fluorine minus one, hydrogen plus one, oxygen minus two. Uh, Halogens tend to be minus one. Oxygen family tends to be minus two. Nitrogen family tends to be minus three. I actually have a game that I like to play. It's called chemistry. Here we go. Imagine on chemistry. Oh, it doesn't work. Ah. All right, I can't play it. It's a, uh, well, at least in the early edition, I could have shown you how to do it. It's a, uh, it's a, just a, a matching game dealing with uh, uh, whatever oxidation states. It's what I do for fun. Okay, so um, we'll go through. Uh, I mean, that's that. This should be a review for you, though. The uh, assigned oxidation states. You should have had that in 161, but I wanted to mention it, and I'll talk about it again. We assign oxidation states. So uh, this is how we uh, balance oxidation reduction reaction. I guess I should back up. So oxidation means to take electrons away. So generally speaking, oxidation means addition of oxygen, taking away hydrogen, and most specifically taking uh, away electrons. So in organic molecules, if, uh, if hydrogen is taken away, that's considered oxidation. And likewise, if, if hydrogen is added, then it's reduction. Uh, oxygen, so when you oxidize something, like you burn things, so if you take hydrogen and you burn it, that's oxidizing it. You're taking electrons away from hydrogen and adding oxygen. So uh, many times oxidation means burning. But there are other things. It does not always mean burning, combusting. Uh, you can, uh, the most general is electrons are, are removed. So if electrons are removed, they have to go somewhere, and they are then reduced. Something else is reduced, which means electrons are added. So reduction can mean taking away oxygen, uh, adding hydrogen, or uh, at most, most generally adding electrons. So, okay, so, and so oxidation reduction, so called redox, because ox red sounds kind of weird. So redox sounds better. So uh, how you balance redox reactions, oxidation reductions reactions, assign the oxidation states, then write and balance the half reactions for the electrons only, uh, balance the oxygens with waters, balance the hydrogens with hydrogen ions, and then if it's, that's for acid solution, if, uh, 
if then if it's a basic solution, you neutralize with hydroxide, and then you have to subtract out the waters, and then you're done. So we'll do this a few times at various degrees. Anybody have any questions before we start? All right. Really, really simple. Simple. Uh, balance the following redox equation. So aluminum uh, plus copper makes aluminum plus three and copper metal. So the first step, assign the oxidation states. And, and which is weird, you probably look at this like, oh, it's balanced. One to one to one to one one. Doesn't really work this way, though, because the electrons. I'll show you in a second, though. So aluminum is a free element. It has an oxidation state of zero. Monatomic ion plus two. Monatomic ion plus three. And then copper metal is zero. So our half reaction here is to say where the electrons are going. Aluminum is going to aluminum plus three. And this reaction generates three electrons. Copper is gaining two electrons and is forming copper metal. So we have two things going on. We have aluminum going to aluminum plus three, and in doing so, it releases three electrons. Copper plus two is gaining two electrons and going to copper metal. And uh, so the next part is we have to balance the half reactions. Which I like it better moved over. I was trying to make the arrows even, but it just looks, looks disorganized. There we go. I feel better now. Okay. So the next part portion is you have to find the lowest common denominator between the electrons. And uh, two and three are both prime numbers. So the lowest common, uh, common denominator of them is just the, they have to multiply, so it's six. So which means to balance this, we have to multiply the top one by two and the bottom one by three. So two aluminums with three, three copper make two aluminums and three copper metals. And there's no oxygen here, so we're actually done. So, so what do we do? We assigned oxidation states, wrote the half of reactions to see where the electrons were going, and then we balanced the half reactions for the total number of electrons. In this case, there's six uh, moles of electrons being transferred. And since there's no oxygens or hydrogens, we're done. So questions with this so far? Okay. Hydrogen ion plus chromium metal makes hydrogen gas and chromium plus three. What is the balanced equation? So half reactions, chromium goes to chromium plus three plus three electrons. So what's the other half reaction? 
You have two ways of writing it. The proper way to write it is, well, I mean, first you said it's high in oxidation states. Chromium is zero because it's a free element, and so is hydrogen. So you can have two hydrogen ions plus two electrons make H2. That's, that's the way I would write it. You can also, if you want, you can do it like this. So either way is fine. That's the most proper way to do it, though. How many people think the answer is A? How many think B? How many think C? How many think D? OK, so some people are going for C, and I'm going to come around. Is anybody getting stuck? Is completely lost? Raise your hand. OK. All right. So talk amongst yourselves, and I'm going to come around. So this case, in, in the half reaction, so we still need to get hydrogen. This, these are even. There's not really no oxygen in there, so either. So chromium starts off with zero oxygen state. Zero, zero oxygen state, and then goes to chromium. And if it's plus three, that means it's missing three. So it's plus three ion, and then it's three. This is a complete thing, but it's, it's not like it's different than what it is because we're using the same electron. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chicago. Anybody else want to chat?
So some of what we were talking about, if you weren't eavesdropping. Uh, so the point of this is, is that uh, so we're having electrons moving around. Okay, so some react. Some of these elements are emitting electrons, and some are absorbing electrons. So start off here, chromium metal. So the first one, chromium metal. It's a zero oxidation. It has all of its electrons. Okay, and then it goes to the plus three ion it's lost three electrons. So plus three means there are fewer, three fewer electrons. So to go from chromium metal to, to plus three, three electrons are generated. And hydrogen, hydrogen is the proton. So two protons plus two electrons makes hydrogen gas. Okay, so this is plus one. So two plus ones plus two minus ones make zero. And uh, how do you know what number to multiply? So imagine the lowest common denominator, like imagine one half minus one third. So of course, two and three. How do you solve this? You go for the lowest common denominator. Since they're both prime numbers, you have to multiply them. So the lowest common denominator between two and three is six. So, and then balancing out, you multiply the top one by two, bottom one by three, you uh, get six and the answer is C. Anybody have any questions with this? Okay. Next one. Um, oops. So, so acidic solution. So balance this one here. Uh, iron plus two plus uh, permanganate anion makes iron plus three plus manganese plus two. So. What is the oxidation state for Mn and permanganate? We don't know that. So what we have to do is we have to figure this out. So for permanganate, minus 1 equals the oxidation state for manganese plus 4 times the oxidation state for oxygen. And if you remember the chart, If you remember the chart up there, I can bring it back up. You, if you, uh, in compounds, oxygen tends to be minus two. So this rule number five, oxygen tends to be minus two in compounds. So we have to take that information back down here. So Minus 1 is manganese oxidation state plus 4 times oxygens plus 4 times minus 2. So 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. So minus 8 added both sides. Uh, 8 minus 1 is 7, and that equals then the oxidation state for manganese. Does that make sense, that 7 is the oxidation state for manganese and permanganate? Okay. So that means that oxidation state here is plus seven. Then manganese, it's in the in on the right side of the equation, it's plus two. So our half reactions are iron plus two going to iron plus three will generate one electron. So remember, plus two means that it has two zero means it has all its electrons, plus two means it's missing two. Uh, Plus three, it should be plus three. Plus three means it's missing three. So if you're missing two and you're missing three, you, you, you shoot one off. So shooting off that electron there. And manganese here is plus seven. So manganese plus seven plus five electrons makes it manganese plus two. So are you following how I've done the half reactions there? Or we're just looking at electrons. Just looking at electrons here. Plus 2 to plus 3 generates an electron. Plus 7 to plus 2 absorbs 5 electrons. And what is the lowest common denominator between 1 and 5? It's 5. So we multiply the top equation by 5 to balance it. So 
five irons plus permanganate make five iron plus five iron plus two plus permanganate makes five irons plus three plus Mn plus two. So now we have to balance out the oxygens. So we have four oxygens on the on the left. So that means we need four waters on the right. Okay? And we have four waters. So we have eight hydrogens on the right. So we need eight hydrogens on the left. And, oh, we need five. Five iron, sorry. And actually, now we're done. That is balanced. Eight hydrogen, eight acids, plus five iron, plus twos, plus permanganate makes five irons plus three, plus uh, Mn plus two, plus four waters. So uh, another way you can do it, if you want to, do, you can you can balance out the the waters and the hydrogens up in the half reaction. So if you, I like to do it in the whole equation way. You can also then do you can also do it that way if you want. Balance out the half reactions. I like to. I, I like to do the uh, hydrogens and the uh, waters after the half reactions because then I have to then I might have to subtract a bunch of more species. It's just my, my person it's my personal preference. But but either way is is valid. So recap for this one. Uh, we have this reaction, we have to assign the oxidation states. So using the rules, we assign plus seven for manganese. And then the rest are monatomic ions, they're easy. We write the half reactions. Iron plus two goes to iron plus three, and in so it generates an electron. Uh, manganese consumes five electrons to form Mn plus two. So that means we need five times as much iron as we do manganese. And then balancing, after we balance the half reactions, uh, there are four oxygens on the left with MnO4. Minus, so we need four waters on the right to balance the, uh, the oxygens. And then now there are eight hydrogens on the right, so eight hydrogen ions need to be added to the left to get the, uh, the, bal the equation balanced. So, is that making sense? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Already shown, you know that Mn is plus seven. What is... What is this one balanced? Manganese plus seven. Well, permanganate plus aluminum makes manganese plus two plus aluminum plus three.
So you know the, the first half reaction from the previous question. How many electrons does aluminum generate? Right, so aluminum starts with all of its electrons, and if it goes to plus three ion, it has to lose three. So what's the lowest common denominator between three and five? Yep. Both prime numbers. So you know it's got to be C or D. So how many people think it's A? How many think it's B? How many think it's C? How many think it's D? Okay, so we got some going for D. Uh, is anybody getting stuck? Not that many people are playing. Give me some feedback. Do you want me to come and help you guys? You have to let me know. Raise your hand if you want me to come around. Are you guys, are you guys following? I need some feedback here. Do you get it? Raise your hand if you're getting it. OK. Everyone is getting it. All right. So then the answer is D. So because, so look at here, three permanganates means you need 12 waters to, because three times, three times four there is 12. And if you have 24 hydrogens on the right, E twenty four hydrogens on the left, like that. So, question so far. Yeah, the because so three units of MnO four, three units that has four, so that means three times four is twelve. Okay, so that's from up here. So the whole charge of the ion is minus one. You got that? So what oxidation states means, it's a way of keeping track of where electrons are. So, so uh, do you understand that MnO4 minus the whole, all the oxidation states equals the number minus one? Do you understand that part? Okay. And also then, minus one equals the oxidation state for manganese and four times the oxidation state for oxygen. Are you good there? Okay. So then you have to go to the rules. So, and the, they are hierarchical. So free element is always zero. Number two, oxidation state equals charge. Number three, the sum of the oxidation states of a charge of the ion equals the ion. So that's where you get that one. That's rule three. And so one is more important than two is important than three. So in rule number four, uh, oxygen or manganese is not an ox alkali or alkaline earth. And then rule number five, we look at the chart. And then not fluorine, not hydrogen. Oh, oxygen is minus two. So oxygen tends to be minus two. So we put minus two in here for oxygens. So minus one equals manganese plus four times minus two. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. So this is minus 8. So we add 8 to those sides. Minus 1 equals manganese uh, plus or a minus 8 plus 8. I'm oh, sorry, I have 8 to those sides. And 8 
plus or minus one is seven is negative seven. Does that make sense now or? Uh, other questions? All right, so basic solution. So now we have to balance oxidation reduction reactions in an alkaline solution. So iodide plus permanganate makes iodine and magnesium dioxide. So we already know, so this one this iodine is minus 1, manganese is plus 7, um, oxygen is minus 2, it's not really going to be important there. Iodine is 0, magnesium dioxide, so 0 is equal to so because there's two of them and it's so MnO2 is a neutral unit. So zero is manganese is oxidation state plus two times oxygen. Zero is manganese plus two times minus two. And two times minus two, this is minus four. Add four to both sides. Four is oxidation state for manganese. Plus four. So is everyone following the oxidation states? Anybody have any questions so far on the oxidation states? OK, so you really do it the same way as balancing for an acid. So we have the half reactions. So you could have two iodides going to I2 plus two electrons. So I like to do it that way because uh, I like keeping whole numbers in there. So Two iodines, two iodides, two I minuses makes iodine, I2, and in so generates two electrons. And MnO4 minus plus seven plus three electrons makes MnO2, the plus four one. So manganese goes from plus seven to plus four, so it needs three electrons. So lowest common denominator between 2 and 3, and 3 is 6. So we need 3 iodines to, actually, going back to that, we need to multiply this one by 3 and that one by 2. So actually, we have 6 iodides. Two permanganates makes three iodines and two MnO2s. Okay, so now let's let's look at the oxygens. There are two times four eight oxygens on the left, and there are two times two or four oxygens on the right. So we need four waters on the right. Okay, and if you look at hydrogens, there are eight hydrogens over here, so we need eight hydrogens over there. So you're like, okay, we're done, but, but this, this is in basic solution. So what you do is you neutralize This is, in this case, 8H pluses with 8 OH minuses. So what we're going to do is, actually maybe I should scoot this over. So So we're going to add eight OHs to both sides. So all I did is we added eight OHs both sides, and 
these are going to react to form eight waters plus six I minus plus two MnO4 minus yielding three I2 plus two MnO2 plus four waters plus eight LH minus. So we have too many waters on both sides, so we have to get rid of four. And we have then four waters plus six iodides plus two MnO4 minuses, yielding three I2s plus two MnO2s plus eight OH minus. And you're done. Because you, you have eight waters on the left and four on the right. So having, having waters on both sides, you can subtract. You can cancel out the water. Other questions? OK. So is this starting to make sense that Actually, I, I, I kind of like these. I think they're fun. But I'm weird. Uh, next thing, after you get a hang of them, though, you can, go, you can go really fast with them. And so usually what my students like to do is watch me do a bunch of problems. So does anybody have any questions? Or do you want to do an Emporium model? We can, do you want to watch me do it? Or do you want to? Actually, yeah. I'll, I'll do the first one, and then you can do the second one. I'll do A, you do B. I'm used to teaching, I usually teach, the, the last time I taught this class was at UH Manoa and I had 150 students, or 160 students. It's a lot better having 11. Okay. All right, so number A. So we look at our half reaction. Well, I guess we have to start off with the oxi oxidation states. So oxidation states, iodine is minus 1, it's 0 here. Oxygen tends to be minus 2, so this is going to be plus 2. And then for that one there, so minus 1 equals nitrogen state plus 2 times oxygen state. <coughs> minus 1 is nitrogen plus 2 times minus 2. So 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 out of both sides, plus 3 is nitrogen. Nitrogen is plus 3. So our half reactions are uh, 2i minus goes to i2 plus 2 electrons, and uh, NO2 minus, so we have NO2 minus plus an electron goes to NO. So lowest common denominator between 1 and 2 is 2. So we have 2I minus plus 2NO2 two minuses makes I2 plus 2NO for the transfer electrons. So on the left side of the equation, we have four oxygens four oxygens on the left, and we have two oxygens on the right, so we need two waters. And we have uh, four hydrogens on the right, so we need four hydrogens on the left. And we're done. So, isn't this fun? I'm having fun. <laughs> Who needs drugs when you have chemistry? <laughs> we have a few, we have a few uh, dissenters on that opinion. Duly noted. Just in case I get ideas, I'd like to walk to you and say, Give me some chemistry problems and grade me, please. We got websites for that, too. Just grading things. Anyways. Um,
All right, so. All right, go for go for B. work together for one. It's really fine. There is a hint, or a few hints on the board. So what is the lowest common, common denominator between two and two? Two, nothing. 
You do absolutely nothing. It's my favorite reaction to things. So how many, do we need to add waters on the right or the left? Which side? That, that would be your right hand. How many? Just one. Okay. Yep. And then what do we need to do on the left? Yes. Yes. I was pretty close. I put the two on the right side of the eye. Yeah. Typo. We'll call it a typo. A typo? All right. What's the last one? Okay. Nitrate and, and tin. All right, same thing. Tins are easy. So Jesse, you're not writing anything. Is everything fine? Are you just you're just you're just thinking about other things. Okay, that's all, that's allowed. Thanks, though. Yeah.
Oxygen's got the oxygens. Let's see if there's too fast. We can do some basic ones. This is what I do, how I prepare for class. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, so he's a Carter. Okay, that's fine. So let's see if you can do a or do you want me to do this one or this one's easy. I think I should do a harder one for you. It's better to do the easy one. that on a chart. So, so basically 
rules. And you would go down and do like no 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 chart. Oh, you would do this. You did zero. You would do zap it. And you would have a bunch of charts and then you function your engineers to customize the data. So function personalized too, which then forces like you just for it. So you would know if they have a reaction or something. Okay. So Minus one and uh, goes to zero, but there's two of them, so you would go two there, and then something would generate two electrons. Are you okay with that part? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you could be balance those elements, and then two electrons are generated in this one. So that goes from plus four to plus two, so how many electrons? So backing up, so so lead, you know, like when you have lead, this uh -huh. plain old lead metal, this means it has all these electrons. Lead plus two means it's lost two electrons, right? And lead plus four means it's lost four electrons. So you have to generate two electrons there. step is you have to balance the oxygens. So there's two oxygens over here. So what do you do? Yeah. And so you have how many hydrogens do you have on the right side now? Four. Yeah. So there's So lead metal, so lead metal means it has all electrons. Yeah, so lead metal means that all the electrons are gone. Lead plus two means I have two electrons plus zero. So that's how you make an that's how you make an alkaline rip off electron. And lead plus four is ripped off. It's lead that has two electrons ripped off. Okay. So and you need to use that information to go from lead plus four to red, red plus two. Two because lead needs to absorb two electrons. Okay. Yeah. No, because um, I mean this is definitely. If you go to the whole reaction, the whole reaction would be lead plus lead oxide plus two electrons, like this plus two waters, and then four electrons in there. That would be the whole reaction. But I mean, this is the half reaction is just to balance the electrons. So you just look at electrons. So lead plus four plus two minuses makes. Okay. 
So, so imagine, imagine here's lead. That's all it's like. Take two electrons away. Now it's a plus two on it. You take the four away. Now it's a plus four. But because four electrons have been taken away. So to get to get red plus four to red plus two, you need to add two electrons to it. Now it's eleven plus two. I I kind of don't answer your question, Tim, but I originally put like the um, two H two O. I was wondering if that's okay. I would just put H one two. Uh, because H two is a gas. I mean that that um, would work, but I mean it's a two H two. You're 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 looking for hydrogen atoms. That's well, the other thing is 2H2, this has uh, four electrons. Um, yeah. You could do it, but then you would have to shift the way you do, you would have to rebalance some things because this, you, you, have, you have four extra electrons on the left side. Okay. Yeah, I'm just worried like those elements get too long attached or something. Or, like, I feel like I need to see if like, the 2H2 is like, you know, just kind of figure out why you use it or like, Yeah. Well, you can see it. I mean, it's well, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, there, there you feel better. You probably would see an H2 or one of your schools. Yeah, it's a multiple choice. Uh, That's what I want to see. I specialize in multiple choice. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was free answer, though. Yeah. Then how to do this? How to how to get it's to subtract the electrons. Yeah, the number to put a positive number means. Fries, brain fryer. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try B. Uh, and Jay, you can play. I just don't want you to feel unloved. is getting kind of brain dead. Are you guys are just tired? Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. All right, in that case, I will do the B and C because I like doing them. I actually do think these are fun. So I kind of want to solve them. And then and then we can go. How does that sound? We can go to lab. I can what? We can go to lab. Oh. <laughs> So manganese is plus seven. Okay, sulfate minus two. Minus two is sulfur plus four times oxygen. Four times oxygen is four times minus two, which is eight. So sulfur is six. So this is plus six. SO3 minus two is going to be plus four. So anyway, so um, because minus two is sulfur plus three times Oxygen, I guess you can't see that. Sulfur is minus two plus three times oxygen, so this is three times minus two. Oh, you can't see that. Three times minus two, and that's 
minus 6, so add 6 both sides, solve for s plus 4. Okay, so our half reactions for this one are, for part B, SO3 minus 2 plus, or actually it goes to SO3 minus 2 goes to SO4 minus 2, and generates two electrons there. And MnO4 needs five electrons to go to Mn plus two. So lowest common line between two and five is 10. So two here and five there. So five sulfate plus two for manganate makes five. I'm sorry, sulfite. Sorry, sulf five sulfite plus two for manganate make five sulfate and two and then plus two. So how many oxygens do we have on the left? We have, for so for SO3 minus two, there's five of them, then five times three is 15, plus two times four for the permanganate, so 15 plus eight is 23, and then uh, five times four and the sulfate, that's 20, so we need three waters over there on the right, which then means we need six acids on the left. And we're done. Okay, so if, if you're... Is there a case that you had waters on the left? Yeah, that can be. Yes. Yeah. Just looking at the next problem. Actually, that that might be a case. The next problem. Let me think. Yeah. Looks like part C might actually be that way. So let's see here. So for part C, you have S two O three minus two plus Cl two makes SO4 minus 2 plus CO minus. Okay, so as we've stated before, this is plus 6, this is minus 1, that's 0. What about S and SO2, S2O3? So minus 2 is 2 times sulfur plus 3 times oxygen. Minus 2 is 2 times sulfur plus uh, 3 times minus 2. So that's 6 to both sides. 4 is 2s, or s equals 2, so this is plus 2. And our half reactions, S2O3 minus 2 goes to 2SO4. And, okay, so that's going to go from plus 2 to plus 6. This is going to generate 8 electrons. All right, so going from plus 2 to plus 6 will we'll generate 4 electrons, but there's 2 sulfurs, therefore 8 electrons are evolved. And then that means, so, uh, but Cl2 plus 2 electrons makes 2 Cl minuses. So uh, 2 and 8, the common denominator is 8, so you need to add 4. So 4 and 8 there. Okay, so, oh no, oxygen balance is still more on the right. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, no, there's 3 on the left and 4, oh wait, there's 2 sulfurs. Oh, that's right, 2 sulfurs, 2 sulfates, sorry. So there are three on the left, and there are eight on the right, so we need five waters there. Does that answer your question there? Can you ever have a chance with that? Yeah, so five waters are needed, and then you need ten acids on the right. Yeah, because, so you see the, the oxygens, there are three oxygens from that. And then two, two times four here, 
that's eight. So we have three oxygens and we have eight oxygens. So we need five waters on the left to balance that. And then the five waters need to have 10 acids on the right. 10 acids are generated. Or hydrogen ions, whatever you want to call it. Making sense? OK, well, three minutes left. And in that case, just up to the lab. You wanted to go all the way to the lab, is what you're saying? You love the melodious sound of my voice so much. Let me talk for another 15 minutes. You said you wanted to go all the way to 